Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. And then today we're going to be continuing the cleaning series. Now we're going to be doing another part of the car, which is probably the most essential part of the car actually, which is the wheels. Now the wheels get very, very dirty very quickly, which is why I'm here today to help you clean them. Now there are a massive array of things that you can do to clean the car, but probably the most easiest one to do is just to wash them normally with soapy water and you know a cloth and stuff like that we've actually got an extra method here today which might prove very essential and very good indeed now we've picked this up quite recently and it's a, actually a snow foam machine now this one isn't exactly the the one that covers your car fully really foamy on all that stuff but it's it's good enough to clean your wheels quite effectively and um, I would recommend using this on the body but we have used it before and it does leave some weird drying dry spot marks so just probably, leaves a film like. yeah like a film so not really recommended for your body but for your wheels it does very well now um, as you can see the wheel is very dirty we did go somewhere yesterday which I probably won't tell you right now because I'll save that for the future video which uh, should be out very soon but it got very dirty I'll tell you that much I've cleaned the body but now it's time for the wheels so first of all we're going to snow foam the wheels. Now, as I said, this is an extra method, but you can just use soapy water and uh, just the normal clean just to wash them. But why not do an extra step to get extra clean? So we're gonna start off here by just spraying all around the wheel, tires as, too. As close to the tire as you can. Make sure to get close to the tire as possible. A little foam up there. And the wheel. So then the closer you are, the more foam it creates. Now, as you can see, it's cleaning the wheel very nicely. Get in there as well. And there we go. So that's the first step, which leaves the wheel looking very nice indeed and creates that lovely foamy type protection layer on it. Do the rest of the wheels here. Get nice and close. And around we go, covering all of the tire. Do the inner arches as well. And you could do it in your arches as well to clean the arch too. Because as I said, this you can use this on all of the car because obviously it's foam. This one smells of cherries as well, which is very nice. So that's an added little bonus. Get all in there. Just like so. And then we'll do this for the other two wheels and I'll meet you back in a second. Hi right, guys. We're back and we've just coated the wheels in the snow foam and uh, I'll just give you a little bit more information before we move on to the next part. And um, so this is the stuff we use. Now this is turtle wax snow foam, which is the stuff we just apply to the wheels. And it acts as, as you can see, a traffic film removing foam and is a brake dust remover as well. It's a very, very good brake dust remover. It does all of the jobs really nicely and efficiently. And this was 10 pounds from Halfords. Now I believe this was on sale and it was a very good price for what it was. I'm not sure what it would be usually. 12, Probably, 12. yeah, 12 quid my dad says, which is about right. Mm. So either way, it's a really cheap product and it really does the jobs. Three cat balls in that. And the next item is the main part or the main thing we've just used, which is the snow foam machine. And um, fun fact, actually, this isn't from any car place. This is actually from BMQ. Now, this was um, around 15 pounds, which is an absolute bargain for one of these types of things. And it's actually got a really good amount inside it as well. Oh, just uh, put this up here. Wait for that van to go past, guys, as well, so you can hear all the information. So this, nope. Oh, <laughs> That's the pressure finger there guys, but uh, trying not to hit that while using it But this actually contains five liters and can hold up to five liters Which is really nice so you can do the whole car and your wheels in one tank Which is absolutely great and as I said, it's fi it's 15 pounds from BMQ Because as you know guys anything that contains car in it will have probably double the amount of price attached to it so it's best to try and just Go to stores you wouldn't actually find car things in and pick them up from there because this is an absolute bargain for something that works really well and it's not even designed for a car so that's that just a fun fact there for you guys because if you want to find cheap bargains for things that you really want just look in really obscure places and you'll find it now the second step is to wash the wheels five minutes but of course minutes. you need to lie you need to leave it for around five 
five minutes just to make sure that it's done its job properly and it's all beaded in nice and well because obviously you don't want to wash it straight off while it's doing its job because then well you're just you're just kind of preventing it from doing what it needs to do so as we can see it's been about five minutes now since I uh, started this job and it's coated in really nicely so the second step is to get just just a normal bucket of uh, soapy water here just washing up liquid and uh, water and there you go so we'll just get a hand in there guys and now just normally as you would do just wash the wheel now with the snow foam attached it will make this job a lot easier than usual though a normal bucket of so soapy water and a normal wash does just as much but as I said at the start the more things you do, the more clean it's going to get. So if we just do this here, guys. Getting all those cracks and crevices to make sure every bit of the wheel is nice and clean. And I'm not sure if you can see this already, but it's ultra shiny. And we have only just started. So imagine what the final result is going to look like. So if we just continue a little bit here, just getting all spokes now this is a bit of a hard wheel to clean because there's a lot of spokes and a lot of little gaps to get into but it makes for a very satisfying result when finished so that's wheel number one and uh, I suppose I'll show you on the front wheel as well just so then you can get the process now this wheel is extremely dirty I don't know how it got so dirty guys honestly but <laughs> I'm we'll find out in the next video. Yep, as my dad just said there, you'll find out in the next video. And oh boy, it was worth it, I'll tell you that much. So let's just do the same thing here, get all the gaps. And always remember to dunk your sponge in every couple minutes, just so then you're getting a fresh batch of water on the sponge to wash your wheel with. Because otherwise you're kind of washing the wheel with dirty water, which you don't really want to do. It defeats the whole object of cleaning the wheel. So we just go over the tyre here, get it nice, nice and clean, go around the wheel, and there we go. So just like the first step, I'll uh, cut back to you once I finish this, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so the last step is now upon us. We've done the wheels, we've snow fried them, we've put normal soapy water on them, and now the last step is just to swirl them off with a bucket of regular water. So, as we can see here, nothing special, nothing fancy, just literally a bucket of water. And all you've got to do, very simple, very easy, is just throw it all over, get all the water, get all the soapy water off it, and all the snow foam. Let's do the same thing here. Get all of that soapy water off. And uh, one little thing as well, guys, that I would have done in the exterior video, which is coming up next, but I wanted to mention now, since we've kind of already done it, is that that snow foam is very good for vents as well. So we've done it here, which you just do that. And look how nice and clean that is, guys. It looks like brand new. So that's a really nice little tip for you there. And now, pretty much, the wheels are absolutely clean. I've done the other side already. So um, no need to do that. And uh, so pretty much that is the process of cleaning the wheels. Super simple and easy, isn't it? And now one final thing that I just want to go through before we end the video is an extra little product that I'd like to introduce. Now, I believe we went through this in the main cleaning video of all the products, but if I didn't, then you're gonna know what it is now. So this is tire shine. And as it says on the bottle, it shines the tires. Now, all you gotta do is just get up real close to the tyres. It's not silicon, it's foam based. And pretty much this isn't silicon. That's mm. all you've got to know, it's foam based. And all you've got to do is just get to the, close to the tyres. Give it a white wall. And give it a 1960s vintage white wall. And then all you've got to do after that. No. Yeah, that's fine. Is just go around the wheel and wipe it off. Now, it will get on the wheels as well, but just just give it a nice little dry there, just get it off with a cloth, or it'll just dry itself either way. But if you're a clean freak like me, then you'll probably want to get it off straight away. But 
as you can see, it leaves the tyres looking really, really nice, like showroom quality. So that's a really nice, quick and effective tip for you guys if you want to have nice, clean tyres. Because I use this all the time because it makes the tyres look lovely. And I believe this is about, what would you say, £2? £4 around that mark, which you can find it in most places really. Halfords, Boys, all those types of places that do cleaning products. And for four quid, that's a pretty pretty good bargain for a product that works this well. So I'd recommend that absolutely. And so, that is pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video because pretty much we're going to be running this series for quite a while. We're going to be doing all the bits of the car to make sure that every piece of it is clean and that your guys' cars can look just as good as this. Because as you can see, now the body and the wheels are super duper clean. It's like it never went out yesterday, which is what you want really. You want, you want to make it look like it's just rolled off the showroom floor. Because, and it's really easy to do. Just the products that we've used and we've reviewed, just simple techniques and it's all nice and shiny so next video we're going to be doing hopefully the next episode of a cleaning series which will be the exterior which will be a real fun one trust me on that and um, the bonus video which I've mentioned a couple times now should be out as well so expect that sometime soon and as I said at the start there should be a double upload so I hope you guys enjoy both the videos that come out today and yeah I'll see you guys in the future don't forget to hit that bell like comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you very soon.